The seven-member panel presided over by Chief Justice Getri Tokonu indicated in her ruling that although Child Rights International had a genuine case, they did not invoke the original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court and urged the lawyers to come again. Reacting to the ruling, Executive Director of the group, Bright Apia, expressed disappointment. We were hoping for a, for a good outcome and, and surely uh, we didn't expect it to go this way. But whatever it is, we still have uh, respect for, for the Supreme Court and their decisions and then we also abide by it. I strongly believe that there, there's merit in the substantive case that needs to be looked at so that we can protect our children. And this is a very important case for us, so we're not going to stop now depending on how the, 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 the judgment is. So when the lawyers are done studying it, uh, we, we will see the way forward. Relief sought by Child Rights International included an order directed at the government to define by law penalties for family members, local government units, and schools that did not guarantee the protection of rights of children in street situations an order directed at the government to define by law penalties for child exploitation for begging or other forms of economic exploitation to punish all those who may try to benefit or ordered money from children's work, among others. Lord Edward, TV3 News, Accra.